hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who are new here my name is being mona in africa so to in today's video i'll be doing about small businesses that you can start in kenya and it's good to have a to have something to fall back into after our work has failed or you're being fired or yeah so i started my small business in 20 in 2019 i was uh, with a capital of 150,000 shillings i i used to love the fast joint places like chips i used to love those fast food places the cafe the small cafe in our area our estate where i used to live in so i decided i'll start that because i also have a I, I was working hotels in mombasa so i saw it because i one or two ideas i decided to start that so it was a uh, in Bamburi, for those people living in Mombasa, neighbors area, yeah, there's a school there opposite. I used to have a place there. So I, it has many challenges. I wish someone had told me because the 150,000, it wasn't enough for a small joint. Roughly, I guess 500 because I didn't calculate even the rent plus the deposit that they use there so i started it was when going well for a few for like an year and then the next year the next year the school were not buying lunch from there yeah i can say that so it went, i'll say that it failed and i i fell back into doing tumba business selling baby clothes second hand baby clothes it went well also but the covid happened yeah most of the people are, i'm one of them who was who are affected with the covid so i decided to come back to the village and stay with my mom but don't lose hope i've not lost any hope when i come back again i'll start the baby shop, selling like baby clothes here in Kisi. I used to open bales. Yeah. The list of business businesses some of you may enjoy or love love to do. Some of them are selling smokies, eggs. Sorry, you can sell smokies or eggs in that trolley. You just walk around. It's a good business and it starts less than a thousand shillings. So you can start from there. You buy a tray of eggs, but don't boil them, all of them. Just like 10 pieces. You start with 10 pieces. You buy tomato, onions. So slowly. Food business, you can... Nowadays, things are digital. You can try online marketing. So you can deliver goods your your food or anything or chips some of them live chips you can deliver them and business goes on another skincare industry you can start with five thousand or below <coughs> products from the mass market you can go to not need to, you don't need a factory you can go to the industrial area get a contact with the manufacturer and then you're good to go yeah start with what you have and with time you'll grow yeah like me I, 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 I it was going well it went well the another business to start in kenya wigs you can start with 10k if you have 10k yeah or below you can start get some good wigs there are some apps in nowadays there are online apps you can phone or download it on your phone 
you don't need a shop second hand clothes you can start as little as a thousand you can go to Gikomba market if you are in love if you love doing baby clothes there are girls ladies clothes men's clothes shoes you can start as little as you have you go to Gikomba buy start picking picking the camera and off you go as for me i used to buy bells because i had saved, had saved a little so i started with bells and but it's not a must to start with bells you can start with a those are shillings and then slowly slowly step by step you can start buying the bells then start in kenya is fancy woodies I've seen many many printing companies so anything you want whether it's fancy shirt woody you can make your t-shirts on the woodies that Kenya that Kenyans identify with yeah another one is baking small it's a good idea because it's something you can supply in the neighborhood or either the estate you are in because Mox, cookies, bread, muffin, what we are good at on the baking section. And slowly by slowly, you'll get there. Start a booking cycle for a shop where you'll be going and the person will be selling for you. You can supply every morning. So, and consistency. Consistency is key. Even in business, not only in YouTube, but even in business, you have to be consistent. Hi, wa. Kizungu lienda kuja na meli. That is motorcycle business. Yeah. Hire Buddha Buddha if you don't want. If you don't have a Buddha Buddha, you hire one. The motorcycle we call it in Kenya Buddha Buddha. You hire someone or and save when you you save a little you buy yours it's cheaper it costs from 100 to 50,000 you can even loan in a chama where you are and then you start paying slowly and another one is selling women shoes and handbags that one will fall back on mutumba clothes or even you can buy new new clothes from isili or kampunji you can also start a YouTube channel like I started to parlor. That was my passion before. I used to love blending juices. Yeah. So you can also start that if you have a, have a if your passion is making juices, all you need to have is a blender and the fruits and you're good to go and a clean place. Of course you have to go to the city council for medical to get the medical injection for food if you enjoyed my video please comment down below subscribe like and share you guys are amazing thank you if you would like to support my channel i write down my paypal donation link on the description box below i've made it easier you just click and it will direct you from there Thank you. Bye.